Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson for you is on multiplying powers. I hope you watched the previous video in this playlist on powers versus exponents. Now let's use what we've learned. Our objectives today are we are going to learn how to multiply powers with the same base, we're going to find a power of a power, and we're going to find a power of a product. So I have three properties to share with you today to make simplifying expressions easier. The question I want you thinking about as I proceed through this video lesson, how can you use what you know about powers to find the product of powers? First property we're going to learn about is the product of powers property, which states any base a to the m multiplied by the same base to the n you can add the exponents. So what it is saying is to multiply powers with the same base, you can add their exponents. Let's look at an example. So I have four to the 11th multiplied by four to the ninth. Both of these powers have a base of four. So this one's saying you have 11 fours being multiplied, and this one states you have nine fours being multiplied, and together we're going to add their exponents and put all the fours together, and that is going to be four to the 20th. So think about that. If we wrote this out without using exponents, I'd be four times itself 11 times, and then we're multiplying another nine fours. Together, we have 20 fours. Now it's your turn. I would like you to use what we just learned to simplify these two expressions. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So I hope you weren't fooled. We have one fourth here, which isn't written as a power, but there is an invisible one exponent there. One, anything to an exponent of one is itself, so you don't need to write it. And then we have one to the fourth here is in parentheses as our base with an exponent of three. So I have three one fourths being multiplied here and one here. So one plus three means I have a total of four. So one fourth times itself four times, which looks like this. Our num numerator is going to simplify to one because one times itself any amount of times is one. Four times four is 16 and another four times four is another 16 and 16 times 16 is 256. Let's look at our second one. They both powers have a base of x, so we're gonna add the exponents because they're being multiplied. So I have two x's and seven x's together give me x, x to the ninth. Here's our second property, a power of a power property. And what this states is if your inside here, what your quote unquote base is, is a power raised to an exponent, we have what we can multiply the exponents. And I'll show you why this works. To find a power of a power, you multiply the exponents. And this simplifies what we've already been doing. Our example is four to the fifth, which is our power raised to a power of three. So that is saying, five times three is 15, so four to the 15th. What we learned in our previous video is you take what's inside the parentheses and you multiply it by itself three times. So that would be four to the fifth three times. And then we just learned this is five fours plus another five fours plus another five fours all together, four to the 15th. But a much simpler way to get there is to understand that that is multiplication. So four to the 15th. Now it's your turn. I would like you to use this property. Go ahead and simplify, pause now, and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're gonna use our power of a product property. We're gonna do seven times three is 21. Over here, power to a power, and we're gonna do three times two, which is six. All right, here's our third property for today, power of a product. So the power of a product property states that if you have two different factors inside the parentheses and an exponent outside, both factors get raised to that power. So to find a power of a product property, find the power of each factor and multiply. Here's an example. So I have 
a 4 and an x, two different factors in parentheses, both to a power of 3. We're going to share the exponent of 3 to the 4 and to the x, so it's going to look like this, 4 cubed, x cubed. 4 cubed is 64 x cubed. Remember, this could be written as 4x times 4x times 4x, 3 4s, 3 x's. Your turn. Go ahead and use this property to simplify these expressions and come back when you're ready to check your work. Please pause now. Welcome back. So we're going to share the exponent of 3 to both the 2 and the h. 2 cubed is 8, so 8h cubed. Here we have 0 0.3 or 3 tenths times x, so we're going to square both. 0, 3 tenths squared multiplied by x squared, and 3 tenths squared is 9 one hundredths, so 9 one hundredths times x squared. There you have it. Those are our three product of powers property. I thank you for joining me today to learn how to multiply powers, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the next video, which will be about quotient powers. Thanks for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Come back soon.